Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you my chocolate flip top box. It is what it says. It's a little chocolate box that has a flip top. Inside it has two little chocolate bars and then the lid just flips over and closes on the top. It features the lovely coming home stamp set. I got a bit too close then. Um, and I've used some of the blends, some of our stamping blends. Now I haven't blended. Um, because I didn't want to but obviously I was doing quite a few here and I just didn't have the time so I figured that um, I'd do them plain but I like these little red embellishments that I've added and they're from the um, all the trimmings embellishment pack so it all coordinates it's all from the same suite even the little bit of DSP here um, and it is all available so you could either go and purchase it as individual pieces or you could buy the whole suite or you could even add it to a starter kit become a demonstrator you don't have to do videos but you could do classes or you could simply join just to get the discount for yourself because that's what I did originally okay so if you want any information on that by the way it is along on my blog um, there's links everywhere so go and check it out have yourself a little Christmas present It'd be amazing okay so to start off with them we need a piece of cardstock that is five and a quarter by four and a half inches in centimeters that's 13.4 by 11.9 on the short side we are going to score at half an inch two inches That's not right. <laughs> Two and a half. And then four. That's right. Completely messed my measurements up on the page. Good job I know what I'm doing. So half an inch, two, two and a half and four. And then that will be... Now I need to double check my, cent my ugh, measurements here on my centimetres. But I think that will be... 1.3, 5.3, 6.6 and 10.6. That definitely sounds right to me. Then we're going to rotate it and we're going to score at half an inch, four and a quarter, four and three quarters. And in centimetres that will be 1.3, 10.8 and 12.1. I'm going to apologise massively for the whole point centimeters um blame the chocolate bars because that is the um size that the chocolate is and that's how i managed to fit them in so i'm going to apologize but totally blame the chocolate okay so fold and burnish all of those score lines and then with your paper snips we're going to start with this one panel across the bottom so we have two here one at the bottom, we're simply going to cut up these bottom sections here, just like that. And then if you think when you're going to close your box up, one of them you'll need to get rid of because you don't need to. Okay, so I would probably say I'm going to get rid of this one on the inside of my hand. So we'll get rid of that one. I'll explain why in a moment, don't worry. Okay, so we've cut those up at the bottom. Now at the top, so on the right hand side, we're going to cut away that first double square here and the long piece. Okay, so we're then left with the long pieces and two squares either side. For the two squares, we're actually going to cut them at this angle okay so we're cutting them horizontally this time fabulous didn't cut that very neatly at all there we go so that's that I'm going to add now my strip of DSP to the front which will be this panel here and my little panel of DSP is three inches by one and a quarter and in centimetres, that's 3.5 by 9. So I'm just going to pop that one on there. 
Now make sure you line it up with the bottom because as you can see I've got space here but that is for when the lid closes over. Okay, right so let's get some adhesive on this side here. So again if you think this is going to come round and seal that way and your little wedge at the bottom will tell you that that tucks inside. Okay, so I'm going to run my seal plus just down there, not on those two tabs and then we're just going to fold it over and fold, why is that not going, and fold that edge over, that's better, thank you, just going to get my bone folder and encourage that and then the bottom we're going to pop these two small side tabs in first this is my front so that's going last so that one will tuck in and again just adding a little bit of my seal plus and if you can see I've done it that way because it was a bit of awkward um, angle to get it long ways and we'll just tuck that up there and then I'm just going to use my foam folder just to press that adhesive down and that just leaves us with the top so again as I said if you can imagine this folds over that needs to fold in and then they will fold down but I don't want to see that crease on the front so I'm actually going to do it the other way so let me get my brain in gear so yeah so that the top ones fold down first and then those wrap around so we just need a little bit of adhesive on these bottom ones here so again, just with a little bit of my Seal Plus on there. And then as I said, I'm just going to place that one down and tuck that one around. Same this side. And then to give them a neater finish, mine have an angle cut at the top. And all you do with that is get your scissors and go from, if you imagine your box closing, the tip of the lid there to where it joins the main box. And you will also notice that if you have any extra, I don't know if you can see there, where it's not actually joined properly, it doesn't matter because it's being cut away anyway. And then you just slide your chocolate bars inside and then close your lid, she said, famous last words, there we go. And there it is, my little chocolate box with its flip lid. And then all I need to do now is do my stamping. So I've got a very small piece of Whisper White here, my memento. I want my coming home stamp set. I'm going to use the little house here. So this is going on my B block. And I also, oh, where have I put that? <laughs> my very merry is my itty bitty Christmas, but I've already used that on another project, so I need to grab it here. Very merry off itty bitty Christmas, because as you can see, coming home doesn't have any sentiment so again I've gone back to an old favourite honestly I would be lost without that so misty moonlight because that's all the same colours so I'm going to use my misty moonlight to stamp my very merry at the bottom just there and then I'm going to use my memento for my little house that is going to be stamped, sorry if my head gets in the way for a moment, stamp my little house on top and then it is just a matter of using my blends. So as I said I haven't used um, the lighter and darker shades, I haven't done the proper blending if you like 
And all I've done is I've used the light balmy blue, the brush tip, and I've literally just swooshed, which is now a technical term, the windows. Oops. So I've just added that. My old olive here. My brush tip is not very good. So, oh my goodness. Crumbs. So I'm using the thinner end here. And I'm literally just going to go around the edge of the door there and do my edge where I don't want to make a mess and then actually just coloured that bit in. That's my door done. My grey granite, granite in dark again just for the roof and you can see how quickly this is coming together now and I'm not being particularly sort of careful per se other than close to the edges there's my roof done and then last but not least I'm just going to colour my house again I'm using the um, non-brush end I can't think what it's called um, but again, just doing the edges, just colouring up that house part there. Oops. And then just very quickly going under the roof. And, it, and as you say, I mean, this is the biggest part just because it's more of the larger area however I am done and that didn't take time at all and then what I did do was trimmed this down right up to the eaves of the house you can hear one of my little dogs dreaming you know when they sort of do that Oh, well I call it whooping noise I can just hear her outside the door and I took them for a walk this morning and um, they were getting very excited at chasing the squirrels <laughs> around the uh, around the trees and then they sit and look up into the trees <laughs> wondering where it's gone it's quite cute Okay, so I've coloured that in, I've trimmed it down to within an inch of its life and then I'm just going to pop it on the centre of my box there and then my final part are my little embellishments. So I went with two of the large red ones on the top there a large whoops, white one just there and then two small red ones just on the bottom whoop, there and that is my flip top chocolate box <gasps> already look how lovely are those I think they look fabulous don't you thank you for joining me and I'll see you all again soon bye